that house over there. It has its own story. When I was younger, I always thought it was haunted. Hi guys, so I just wanted to get on here, um, I was originally gonna do something else today, do a get ready with me, and, um, I had a physical therapy appointment that I was supposed to go to, um, but I wanted to be really real and raw, um, and show you, um, how I deal with things and they kind of go awry. Rockets in the back seat. trailhead. We live in Montana and I have a garbage can behind me and it's a very tight squeeze. Um, excuse my hand. <laughs> right along the river. I'll show you guys a little bit more now. It's kind of windy, so I'm not going to try and do that. Alright guys, we're at our location. Um, it's a little busy right now, so I was going to talk to you guys for a minute and then wander out. Um, just give everybody space. I try to be as courteous as possible. Um, you never know um, what everybody else and their dogs are doing so uh, um, I always like to approach situations with caution um, especially with the fact that Rocket is a service dog I don't want to put him into any situations where my anxiety is going to get heightened or he is going to have a hard time with it um, I brought him cheese stick today and he's super duper excited about it aren't you Rocket? Are you excited about cheese stick? There's trails that lead to the river, and then this side that go all the way around, and up the road past the parking entrance of the trailhead, you can actually go up on the mountain and play fall, um, which is a very popular activity. Um, a little bit of thank you, Rocket. A little bit of um, just some impromptu brushing up on commands. Um, 
going places with distractions. We just had some kids walk by. Um, there's a lot of noise from just the outdoor.